we are going to try strip tilling. Kind of new to me, but we're going to make it work. Just to explain a little bit, this cuts the cuts the trash. And this one uh, pushes the trash aside. Then you got the shank there where that puts the fertilizer that comes down the tube into the ground so that it won't wash away. And then you've got your covering disc that makes your berm. And then you've got these chain wheels that uh, beat up the dirt, make it more mellow, make it a nicer berm. So I decided to go with a gladiator. And it's a nine ton Montag tank. We'll be pulling that with a 620 quad, so we should have plenty of power up front. But they uh, kind of recommend you go about 7 mile an hour, so it'd be good to have the power. And then I went and got a truck, a tender truck, and the measurement said it would reach. And it does reach, but it's we're going to have to be set just perfect every time. But for now, we're going to have to make it work. Crops are burning up the way it is, so we don't want to spend spend too much. So yeah, that's what's uh, happening, going to be happening this fall. I'm going to get some of this film that we can spray on here. Give it a bath, get all the dust off of it, and then uh, spray it down to protect it from rusting. So that'll probably be another job we'll get done here pretty soon. Well, we're getting closer to harvest. Just wish that auger was another two foot longer, but we'll make it work for now. Be easy to do, but the power power end is on that end, so we'll make it work. Well, good morning. It's uh, September 8th. It's called the equipment shuffle today. Emptying out the shed. Got the heads, bean head and corn head pulled home from another shed that I got, that I rent. Got the uh, strip till bars all ready to go, except we do need to change oil on that tractor. I wasn't going on, but I thought I'd better. It's getting close. Might as well have it done. Got the water tank all winterized. Got the corn head up there that I got that washed off this morning. I got the combine out, which is all ready to go except give it a bath, rinse it off, make it look pretty. And then I also got my fuel coming today, hopefully, get that topped off, make sure we got enough fuel for harvest. A lot of little things going to be coming on. The uh, 540 has got to get serviced and put on the cart and they both need a bath, so a lot of wash time, but main project is to get the corn head on the combine in the shop and we got a lot of stuff to do to that. Now I gave it a bath. Not bad for a 2000, uh, what year was this combine? Now, good morning, September 13th, working on the corn head, we had it all blow it off, but then we, last fall, then we noticed that the stripper plates were all clogged up, so we took this all apart, cleaned it all out, so they're all back in operating, operating the way they're supposed to. Got the chains all back on. I gotta grease it, but I gotta set the tension on the chains first so I don't get covered in grease. And then we got the stock stompers on. Trying a different style this year. I had the spring loaded ones last year, last several years. We kept breaking the springs. So I don't know if these are gonna be any better or not. I hope so. A lot less maintenance to them, hopefully. And you can 
pull this pin out here and turn them if you need to put it on the trailer so that'll be nice but that's what we're doing today finishing up the corn head check the bean head over harvest is getting close now we got the corn head all done ready to go gearboxes all gearboxes checked and filled took out all the stripper plates cleaned them out so they work good put some new stripper plates on look like a new head there combines ready all the monitors in globes cameras just need to grease that Colby just finished greasing the cart got the tractor oil changed track tension set on the cart new oil in the gearbox we're coming along just gotta get the bean head ready and we're ready to go where's the tape measure at gonna do late night thinking here got kelvin looking up some parts yeah we got to uh we want to put some brushes on here and we've seen them before but we're trying to do it the cheap way where's the measure code if anybody has any ideas let me know i think they sell them at uh as kits but they're like 695 bucks here's one this one is three to eleven inches wide three deeper eleven well, eleven I suppose you don't want, don't don't want it, it too, don't far, want it too far. far. It'll stop six. everything. Huh? Six wide enough? It goes from six to eleven. Six bish barely, yeah. Probably not quite enough. Yeah, good morning. Well, it's almost afternoon here, but had to run for parts this morning. Had to replace one of these skid plates on both ends. I uh, I upgraded to this one here that didn't have any holes in it. Asked for the update kit. So they do, they do have one with no holes in it, so that's good. But other than that, got the draper ready to go. Combine's ready, just need to decide what setting I'm gonna do, corn or beans first. Now we got the bean head ready. Oh, phone call. So, I don't know if you can see in the sun or not, but I went and hand shelled some corn. We'll see what it was. My first test was 23.3. And... This one is 23.9, so it's coming along. But I did notice that the uh, stock quality is really bad. It was so dry that I think it just cannibalized the stocks. But it's getting close. I think we'll probably be taking corn before beans. So tonight when I get some help, we gotta get the dryer. Dryer up and running. Probably take corn first. My beans are still still turning. I think they're probably a week or two off yet, but corn will be coming quicker, I think. We're gonna have to take it early. So to get the dryer ready, we gotta run an airline up about halfway to the burner. Blow out all the little uh, holes in the burner, make sure they're clean, run the fan, uh, check the oil in the gearbox I got to put a new belt on the drive we got the airlock running last night so we're getting ready and if you like the videos give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I have some harvest videos coming soon